and Smith Burris. Their performance will be on the arena of the month, the responsibility of an angel. Good day. My name is Elzabeth Pachowska, and I have a story to tell you, a story about two boys. One being the one whose name I owe my very existence to, Irina Summer, the other being my birth mother. When I was just six months old, I was smuggled out of the ghetto in a carpenter's box, and I was judged and prevented from flying. The only thing I had left with me from my young life was a silver spoon with my name and date of birth engraved into it. What a painful decision my mother made that day she gave up, when she gave up all rights of her mother, all my rights to my family, and all my rights to my heritage, and put me in the hands of a computer destroyer. Irina, we have been in and out of the Warsaw Ghetto for days now. The conditions inside are becoming worse by the day. If they're not starving, they're suffering with diseases. Typhus. How do we even treat typhus? In the Nazi troops, they're eliminating them one by one. Oh, it is horrible, Irina. What do we do? I know, I know, but I have a plan. With your help and all the other two ghetto members, I can get into the ghetto disguised as a nurse. I will tell the soldiers I am a nurse and that I will be inspecting the health of their patients with typhus. Oh, I hope you do not find out which of the social services are it down. Shut it down? What do you mean? Oh, Irina, time is of the essence here. We cannot afford to have you taken with the rest of the Jews. Soldiers are taking them out by thousands of concentration camps. Families we see in the morning may not be here when we return. The children, why are they doing with the children? Those children, they are suffering the most. We have to get them out quickly. My informants have told me there is a breach in the wall. We have to locate it. Aren't there tunnels under the church and courthouse? That could work to our advantage. We may have to do something else with the smaller children. We have to think of another way to get them out. What would you do? What would you do to save all these children? What a huge responsibility Irina took on. The city was crying with naked flight mirrors and people who were willing to turn into the Gestapo. Time was running out and Irina and other young Polish children were doing whatever it takes to save these children. I have talked to some of my other friends. They are willing to help us with our plan. We can toil the older children out through the tunnels and sewers. For the younger children, this is a bit tricky. We can use some of the coffins they have brought in, our medicine bags that I use, or even tool chests or barbers have both laying around. We can put the smaller children in the babies in there. But how would we keep the children quiet? They would be crying or upset. Then the whole thing would be ruined. I have that figured out too. We would sedate them. Uh, sedate them? Yes. That is how we can keep them calm so we can get them out. Then we will have to work with the children and give them new names, new Christian names. Their families will never let us do such a thing. How are we going to do this? They will let us do this when the children will be on a train to bring them to death camp. We will also need to teach them other Christian traits so they will hear to be raised in a Christian home by Christian parents. We will teach them the Lord's Prayer. We will have them say it over and over again. Ten times, a hundred times, a thousand times if needed. What a plan. Irina had to beg the parents of the children to let them go with her. She explained that this was the only way to protect their Jewish heritage and save their children. What gave Irina the right to take this huge responsibility on? Excuse me, may I please have a moment alone with you? Your baby, she needs taken out of here. Who are you? What do you mean? Why? My name is Jalonsa. I am here to help you. If your child stays here, she could possibly die of typhus or worse by the hands of the Nazi soldiers. They are taking the Jewish people out of the ghetto every day. These people are not returning. This is not what you want for your daughter. Why should I trust you? We need to stay together as a family. Surely this will all be over soon. Please tell me this will all be over soon. I know this must be hard for you. I know that I must inflict shame on you. But your people are being sent out by thousands. These people are not returning. The Nazis are lying to you. Why should I believe what you say is true? Tell me from your heart. How is it possible? I cannot imagine the horrible thing that's filling your heart at the moment. Trust in this change to save your child. All that I can tell you is that I have connections that tells me what's going on in the concentration camp. Can you promise me she'll be saved, Jolanta? Can you promise me? I cannot guarantee we will make it out of the ghetto. Before as many as we can get out, there are Polish families that are willing to adopt them and swear they are the best kids. They will be healthy and have food to eat. 
This will not be possible here. My daughter, she'll forget her name, her heritage, her family. What if I make it out? How will I find my child? I will keep a record of your child's birth name and enter it in a Polish name, so that when the war is over, I can locate your child and you can be reunited. If I do not make it out, my child will have to be king of her always. I pray that once this war is over, that I can reunite these children with their families. I have written the names, all of the children's names, in a jar, on a piece of paper. I will put this piece of paper in a jar. I have buried this jar under the apple tree, close to the German barracks, so that when the war is over, I can hopefully dig up this jar, and the families can be reunited that have had their lives changed forever. In 1943, after a year of rescuing children, Irina came under the suspicion of the Gestapo, who arrested her. She was severely tortured and sent to execution by firing squad. In a twist of fate, after a final torture session where her arms and legs were broken, Irina gained consciousness to find that the German officer who was guarding her was bribed by her friends of the Zagoda. The guard marked her off as executed and left her in the woods to be rescued. Irina lived out the rest of the war in hiding but she still did what she could to help save young Jewish children. After the war, Irene took on the responsibility herself and dug up the jars in hopes of finding the young Jewish children. Though many of the families of the children did not make it out of the ghetto, they faced a certain death at the concentration camps. We may not have even heard of Irina Sindler and her heroism if it had not been for three students from Uniontown, Kansas, working on a History Day project who thought it was their need to bring Irina and her story to life. This day forward, her and her story has been told many times Many decades later, Irina was finally cleared and set free from the Gestapo. She was even nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. One newspaper article dubbed her as the Angel of Warsaw. The responsibility Irina took on that day was huge, and because of that, many children went to see another day outside of the ghetto and away from death at concentration camps. In the end, I was able to save over 2,500 Jewish children. Sadly, I was not able to find many of their families. They say I was a hero. I only wish I could have done some more. Every child says my help and all the wonderful secret messengers is a justification of my existence on this earth and not 